Today we are trying NFL imperialism. Big shout out to Dean's World for coming up with this amazing idea. I'll leave a link in the description down below to his channel. So this is my starting map for NFL imperialism. I try to give every NFL team their own state, which means some of them are outside of the state that they originate in. But don't worry, we're going to sort out those territorial disputes very quickly. We spin the wheel to decide who the attacking team is, and we have an arrow that points to a random direction to see which way the attacking team is going to go. If there's a team in that area, they play a game, and whoever wins the game not only takes over the losing team's territory but they also get a random top five player from the losing team to add to their own team and we keep going until one team takes over the entire country and becomes america's team now you guys might notice Chargers and rams don't have their own territory and that's because that is our first matchup of the video yeah it's looking like the chargers are just gonna blow out the rams they got a pretty significant lead and the chargers win by three scores in the first matchup and now they're gonna get a player from the rams to add to their own team so i'm gonna do random number one through five to see who is gonna be joining the Chargers from the Rams and it's going to be the fourth highest overall player so the fourth highest overall player on the Rams is Bobby Wagner and that's looking like a huge upgrade at the middle linebacker position for the Chargers so the Chargers take over California but the 49ers also have a dispute with that and that's our next matchup we have a tie game under one minute left the 49ers are on a bit of a drive though they're already on the Chargers territory okay decent run if you guys saw the nfl playoffs video though we've seen some teams uh absolutely screw themselves in this situation but niners so far just keeping the ball on the ground killing clock uh oh debo hurt though that's a big injury it might not end up mattering since they're just going to keep the ball on the ground and they're going to kick their field goal surely robbie gold hits this he's pretty automatic usually and yeah i mean absolutely drill that field goal and the niners take the lead are the chargers going to clutch up with 35 seconds left? uh oh justin herbert's running around in the pocket dump off i don't like that with zero timeouts that's almost a sell by the chargers like oh i thought they were about to run it that would have been crazy i mean great catch but you have no more time left so the 49ers win i swear like the cpu just has zero sense of urgency sometimes so now the 49ers control oregon and california so the 49ers are going to get the second best player from the chargers oh this is gonna be fun we're gonna get the bosa brothers together on the same team and yeah looking like a pretty good upgrade for the left outside linebacker position so we got the california team sorted out it's time to see who the real team in texas is so the texans pulled it back to a one score game they need this third down stop here and they don't get it oh that's tough i'm actually not sure why the cowboys are running to play hopefully they don't fumble right or they can i don't know could make things more interesting but nah this game is over so not only do the cowboys hold on to texas but they now also take over the state of oklahoma and we do need to give the cowboys a random player from the texans and it's going to be the highest overall player on the texans the fact that the cowboys are getting the highest overall player on the texans is super lucky for them because brandon cooks is cool but he is 10 overalls lower than laramie tunsil that's wild the cowboys do have tyron smith but we can just move laramie tunsil to right tackle i think the next thing we got to sort out is the state of florida so yeah first matchup buccaneers jaguars overall wise very close so this could be a good game the buccaneers need a touchdown on this drive to have a chance here so let's see if they could do that and wow three and out i think it was yeah the jags are gonna get more points on the board here right yeah another touchdown that's ggs the buccaneers ended up scoring another touchdown but the jacks win by multiple touchdowns and they're now gonna get a top five player from the buccaneers so who are the jaguars going to get they're gonna get the second highest overall player on the buccaneers so i was thinking it was gonna be mike evans or one of the receivers but it's levante david and he's gonna be a pretty good upgrade for the jaguars so the jags are gonna take over the buccaneers territory and now it's the battle for florida i'm gonna go possession by possession but it's not looking good for the dolphins that's a big stop though i mean they need to score on this drive otherwise yeah i think it's over and the jacksonville jaguars is florida's team so now we need to figure out what play we're gonna add from the dolphins to the jacks and the jacks are gonna add the third best player on the dolphins tyree kill would have been amazing for the jacks but jalen waddle is a pretty good consolation prize for them too and jalen waddle is immediately the highest overall wide receiver on the jacks so we do have a few more states to sort out ohio pennsylvania and new jersey i know the ravens and commanders both play in maryland but i think that's fine for now the battle of ohio Bengals, browns who's taking over so the Bengals jump to an early two touchdown lead in the first quarter can the browns come back the Bengals get another touchdown it's not looking great for the browns as they're down 28 to 3 something tells me the Bengals aren't gonna falcons themselves here but you never know the Bengals take over the state of ohio the Bengals could potentially add someone like miles garrett to their team here but they are going to add the 
fifth highest overall team on the Browns. Yeah, that's not Miles Garrett. I forgot that Nick Chubb was super high overall on this team, but the Bengals are going to get Denzel Ward, which is still a pretty nice upgrade for them. Bengals got Ohio and Kentucky, but I think the next thing we got to sort out is Pennsylvania. Can we get that upset? Oh man, let's see what happens in the second quarter as the Steelers take a three touchdown lead. What? The Steelers have a three score lead going into the fourth quarter. Like surely they don't choke this. I'm just going to sim to the end. Maybe the Eagles pull something off here, but it does not look like it. They get a touchdown. Seems like it's too little too late. And the Steelers pull off a massive upset, and they're going to get a player from the Eagles. I still can't believe what I just saw, but the Steelers are going to get the number one player on the Eagles. So the highest overall player on the Eagles is Lane Johnson. And yeah, that's a significant upgrade for the Steelers' right tackle position. So shockingly, the Steelers take over Pennsylvania. Now the final state I want to sort out is New Jersey. Okay, I get it. These are technically New York teams, but they both play in New Jersey, okay? So they're going to battle out for New Jersey. Pretty big drive for the Jets. No, interception. Huge interception by the Jets. So this is a big drive for the Giants. They can extend it. They get a two-score lead here. Can the Giants do anything? Saquon with a pretty good run. He fumbles. Saquon fumbled and the Jets recover. Wow. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty good fourth quarter. I believe this is Mike White. Oh, what a dot from Mike White. Big first down for the Jets. The Jets are already in field goal range, so they can at least tie it up. Hopefully, right? But they want touchdowns. And dude, Mike White slinging it. Jets are going to throw the ball. I thought they were going to run the ball. Easy first down conversion. for It's another fumble. This game is crazy. The Jets recovered it, though. Wow. Jets are so lucky that someone landed on that ball for them. Okay, they're still moving here. Five wide and first and goal really okay what's mike white got yeah sad. okay yeah stupid decision why aren't they running the ball like they should have just run the ball it's so easy dump off to the running back for nothing big third down 10 yards to take the lead for the jets he's going for the end zone and it's picked oh my god it's picked by the giants he might be gone guys pick six what is going on in this game? What a pick six by Adore Jackson. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what I just witnessed. That was the best game we've had so far. So the Giants are going to end up getting the second highest overall player on the Jets. Ooh, the Giants are going to get Sauce Gardner. That's a fun one. I actually had no idea Sauce Gardner was already this high of an overall man and deservedly this high overall. And now he's the highest overall corner on the Giants. Now the real fun of this video begins. All right, we finally get to use the wheel to see what team is going to be attacking and it is going to be the Tennessee Titans. Now, which direction are the Titans going to go? And they're going to go northwest. So the Titans are going northwest, which means they will be attacking the Kansas City Chiefs. I feel like we've got some low scoring games. Chiefs only 16 points going into the fourth, but it's a two possession lead. Let's see if they can hold on to that. And it's a big touchdown to start the fourth quarter. Titans got to answer back on this drive and no interception on the goal line. So the Chiefs survive the attack for the Titans and they take over the Titans territory and they get a player from the Titans. So the Kansas City Chiefs will be receiving the number one player from the Titans. It is Derrick Henry and that is a massive addition for the Chiefs. All right, let's find out who our next attacking team is going to be and it will be the Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts will be going towards the Northwest once again. I don't think it makes sense for them to cross the water to challenge Green Bay. So it's going to be Bears versus Colts. This is looking like a crazy game. I believe it's Nick Foles playing quarterback, by the way. Oh, I don't know about that run. I can't believe the Colts just snapped it before the two-minute warning. What? Hey, first down, though. I guess that worked. The Bears absolutely need to get a stop here. The Colts are going to try to run it. It's a good stop. Can the Colts close this game out? One first down is probably going to do it. Jonathan Taylor's fighting for them yards, too. This could be potentially for the game here. Third down. Are the Colts going to convert? They don't. What a stop by the Bears. Can Justin Fields clutch up for the Bears? and tie the game, but maybe go for the win if they get a touchdown. What a strike, by the way. Wow. Give me a touchdown pass from Justin Fields or a touchdown run from here. He's going for it off his back foot. What a catch for a touchdown. Wow. And that's why the Bears traded their first pick in the second round for Chase Claypool to make catches like that. Wow. All right, second down and eight. He's going for the first down and he has it. I believe that's Alex Pierce. 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah, surely you're not running the ball there. And nice throw to the sideline. Are they in field goal range? They might be close. This is going to help him out here this run. Potential game winning field goal. The Colts had a little bit more time to get more yards, but we'll see how this goes. And it's looking good. I actually don't know if he made it. It looks like he missed it, actually. All right, Colts get ball to start off overtime. 
the run game. It's a fumble! Jonathan Taylor fumbles! Wow! I can't believe Jonathan Taylor just fumbled. That is crazy. Why are we going to five wide? This is a bad decision. This is a mistake waiting to happen here. No. Oh, I thought he was about to throw a pick. Surely Cairo Santos drills this, right? Like, yeah, that's the game. Okay, what a crazy game. But the Bears beat the Colts, and they're going to get a play from the Colts. All right, so the Chicago Bears will be receiving the second highest overall player from the Colts. And in an interesting turn of events, the guy with the big fumble in overtime, Jonathan Taylor, will be going to the Bears. The Colts had it, too. They had the game-winning field goal at the end of regulation, but the Chicago Bears takes over Indiana. All right, time to see what our next team is going to be, and it is the Commanders. And the Commanders will be going towards the Southwest. So the Commanders are going Southwest, which means they're facing the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm sure the addition of Derrick Henry has been really, really good for the Chiefs, and it's looking like they're going to put up a shutout here. It's 31-0, to zero, guys. Absolute domination from the Chiefs. Absolute domination. So I definitely fixed the depth charts, but interestingly enough, Derrick Henry got less carries than Jarek McKinnon, but he did score a touchdown and had more yards. But the Chiefs will be receiving the second highest overall player from the commanders all right so the chiefs are going to be getting jonathan allen from the commanders solid addition but not the highest overall d tackle because they have chris jones already hey this is gonna be an awesome d tackle pairing though it'd be kind of fun to see if the chiefs just get like a straight line going across from the east coast to the west coast but they're on the east coast now all right what team is up next can we get some of the west coast teams going oh there we go 49ers they're back up 49ers will be going towards anywhere but the west right they're going east 49ers could just go this way and take Idaho but instead we're gonna go this way west and face the Vegas Raiders so the 49ers started this drive with three timeouts they just called one third and two we already know it's four down territory but you got to push the ball down a little bit more downfield here it's a first down but you're not really going anywhere here dude they let so much time go off the clock for a three yard catch like zero sense of urgency Brock Purdy's trying to make a play here Oh, well, that would have been huge. That catch would have put him in field goal range, too. And they have one of the best kickers in the league. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing, Brock Purdy? Come on, bro. And our first big territory goes down, and the Raiders are going to take it over. And the Raiders will be taking the number one player from the Niners. Wow. Honestly deserve. And I think this is the first 99 overall player that's going to be traded. Trent Williams going to the Raiders. And just like that, the Raiders are back in California. The next attacking team of the video is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers, who will be going towards the South. So we do have multiple options here. We could go South attack the Ravens or go south this way and attack the Chiefs. We haven't seen the Ravens in this video, so that's who the Steelers are going to be playing. Yeah, this turned into an absolute blowout win for the Ravens, which is nice. If you saw the every team in the playoffs video, you know what happened with the Ravens in that video. Ugh. So the Ravens are going to get the third best player from the Steelers. So the third highest overall player on the Steelers is Cameron Hayward. So he's going to the Ravens. Cam Hayward next to the Ravens logo looks weird. And here we go. The Ravens take over the Steelers territory. I think the past few games, the attacking teams have actually lost, but the next team is going to be the Patriots. Now the Patriots could only go south or west and they are going to go west. So that means the Patriots are going just right next door to battle the Bills and see who reigns supreme in the Northeast. Bills have been playing some soft defensive coverage so mac jones is starting to get the patriots on a drive here first and 10 at the 31 and that's a big first down oh i thought he was about to score a touchdown but mccorkle with the big throw after that big completion they threw the ball twice for nothing and yeah we're at a third and goal situation they're throwing the ball again does he have the touchdown this time he does big touchdown but they gotta go for two here pretty much the game here gotta get this two points or else i mean they got three timeouts but it's not looking great does he catch that? I can't believe that. Is that Jacoby Myers? Nelson Aguilar? Nelson Aguilar's bossing people now? All right, well, the Bills get ball first in overtime anyway, so let's see what they do. They're throwing it, and that's a big, big throw to uh, Stephon Diggs. I still can't believe the Bills just said, nah, let's go to overtime. Oh, that's a huge... It's a sack fumble! <laughs> what is happening? The other overtime game had a huge fumble too. Wow. Why are the Patriots going for this? Oh, it's a touchdown anyway, so game's over. I don't know why they didn't go for the field goal, but the Patriots upsetting the bills i guess you just never know with these simulations we've been seeing some crazy stuff but the patriots are going to be getting the second best player from the bills so i thought josh allen was going to be the second highest overall but 
it's Von Miller. Now, the problem here, though, is I can't even move him over because he's injured. So we're going to end up moving Josh Allen. That's all I can really do. I kind of feel bad because Mac Jones had a sick drive to tie up the game, but Josh Allen definitely is an upgrade. Even though he did fumble in overtime. Okay, what team is going to be up next? It's the Patriots again. We need South or Southwest to pop up because that's all they can really do, and they're going South. So this means we have the Patriots versus the Giants. Maybe the Patriots will finally get some revenge on the Giants, right? Giants have to get the stop on this drive to even have a chance here. Let's see what happens. Are they going to get the stop? Oh, the game's over. Okay, they did not get the stop. So the Patriots avenge their Super Bowl losses. All right, the New England Patriots will receive the number four player from the Giants, which means the Patriots will be adding <laughs> Sauce Gardner. Nice. The Patriots are starting to get a little dangerous here. Sauce Gardner's their third highest overall player. They added Josh Allen already. Whoo! The Patriots are slowly but surely expanding their territory. All right, let's see who's up next here and... It's the Lions. I thought it was going to be the Chiefs again. Now, which direction are the Lions going? And it's going to be to their west. Now, I know for the Colts earlier, we said we wouldn't be crossing the water, but because they have the Upper Peninsula, it counts. They're playing the Packers next. At least we're getting some scoring drives. It is a little bit lower score, but we're getting scoring drives. Lions, though. It's all Lions in the third quarter. Now they got to get the stop, and it's not looking good. The Lions get another touchdown. The Detroit Lions win by two touchdowns over the Packers. So the Lions will be adding the number one player on the Packers. I think I have a pretty good idea of who that's going to be. Never mind. I was completely wrong. I thought it was going to be Aaron Rodgers. He's the number five player. It's Jair Alexander going to the Lions. So we say goodbye to the Green Bay Packers and the Lions take over Wisconsin. All right, let's keep it rolling. Who's up next? The Chicago Bears. All right, it's been a little bit since we've seen the Bears. What direction will they go? And it's Northwest. Okay. All right, so we actually get our first empty space of the video. So the Bears take over Iowa. Spin the wheel once again, and it's the Bears once again. Okay. So which way are the Bears going this time? And they're going Northwest again. Does mean they're going to another empty space in South Dakota. It's nice that we're starting to get the empty space filled out now, but who we got next? The Ravens. They're back. No matter which way they go, they should have a matchup. So they are are going northeast guys this should be a fun one can the patriots continue their domination or will the ravens take over the entire northeast okay i guess they're not quite calling their timeouts yet 30 seconds i mean it's still fine they just gotta get some field goal range and they might have just got into field goal range guys now that i'm seeing where they're at they're probably slightly outside of field goal range also don't know what the win situation is it says that we're in field goal range actually in the game though but dump off just move forward yes make it easier for justin tucker 20 seconds left only one timeout they're just gonna run it okay oh the gun Bus, though. The Ravens call it early timeout, so they're going to leave some seconds, but Justin Tucker, 50-yard field goal, should be automatic, and it is. It is automatic. So we're in another overtime game. Ravens get ball first, and we've seen some crazy fumbles. Look at Lamar go, though. Big time run. He's gone. Lamar Jackson, first play in overtime, takes it to the house. Can Josh Allen and the Patriots answer here, though? Okay, let's see what Josh Allen is going to do. It looked like he has no touchdowns in this game, actually, but that's a big throw. So far after that first down, it's just been quick throw after quick throw, and they're in third down and four now. Can the Ravens stop him? No. First down, Jacoby Myers. Josh Allen and the Patriots are on a little bit of a drive here. Can the Ravens clutch up? Nah, he is slicing and dicing the defense right now. Can Josh Allen do it? Oh, that is a great throw. It might be tie game soon, boys. Yeah, I think they're just going to keep running the ball, so the Ravens, let's see if they can stop him and it's a tie game wow does lamar jackson have any sort of magic left i mean he took it to the house last time he's tried it again third and 11 wow dude okay no pressure this time lamar's gonna run right into the side no he doesn't he's gonna take it again dude look at this run look at this run from lamar lamar jackson has put the team on his back this is crazy nice throw to mark uh mark andrews and they might be in field goal range justin tucker should be able to drill this though it's looking pretty good it's got the leg and it goes through and the patriots run is over the ravens get the w in a crazy game that was an absolutely crazy game but the ravens are going to be getting the patriots number three player what are even the odds on this the patriots third best player is Sauce Gardner. He's going to be playing for his fourth team in this video now. Yeah, that was an absolutely huge win for the Ravens, but let's see who is up next, and it is the Chicago Bears again. And they will be going towards the Southwest. Looking at their territory, the one that makes the most sense is Nebraska, so they're just going to take all the empty spots, I guess. I mean, that's completely fine. Like, we got to fill out those spots anyways, right? So the next team is actually going to be the Saints. Okay. We've yet to see the Saints. They do have an empty spot above them, but they're going to the East. 
least. Which means the Saints will be facing the Jags. Yeah, this has been a very back and forth game. The Jags have a third and four at the 18th. Need to convert, need a touchdown really badly. Are they going to be able to convert? I think he barely got it. All right, here we go. Trevor Lawrence dropping back, sitting in the pocket, getting flushed out of the pocket now. Is he going to take it himself? No, he's not. It's a laser, and it's a touchdown for the Jags. What a play by Trevor Lawrence to Evan Ingram, guys. That was an awesome ball on the run from Trevor Lawrence, but they got to go for two to make a three-point game. Ooh, I don't know about that draw, but they still have the lead at least. They're not using one of their timeouts yet. Yeah, they probably will after this play, right? And it's a first down, a big first down to Alvin Kamara. Wow. They let so much time run off the clock before they call the timeout, but it's okay. They're gonna, oh my God, what a throw, what a play, and they are right in there. The CB also loves calling timeouts super early, but this should be an easy field goal for the Saints, and they take that lead. Well, it's going to come down to this for the Jags. They need, I mean, he's got to just launch it up, right? He's going for it, and it's picked, and the Jags lose. Wow, that was a crazy ending to the game, though. Trevor Lawrence had a sick ball, but Andy Dalton clutch so like the patriots the jags failed to win their third game no teams won three games yet in this video but the saints are end up getting the third best player on the jags which is gonna be brandon sheriff so he's going over to the saints and that's gonna be a great upgrade for their offensive line yeah the saints are getting a nice chunk of territory here Whew. it's very interesting to see like these teams with multiple upgrades losing cardinals welcome to the video the arizona cardinals will be going towards the Northwest. It's been a little bit since we've seen the Raiders. They pulled off that big win over the Niners. Can they keep it going against the Cardinals? I'm pretty sure Colt McCoy is going to be starting for the Cardinals, but in my previous video, they pulled off some massive upsets, so I'm going to believe in Colt McCoy. It's 3-3 after the first quarter. Let's see what the second quarter is going to bring us. Raiders get a touchdown. The Cardinals answer right back, though, and it's going to be a tie game at halftime. I'm liking that we're starting to get a little bit more closer games. The Raiders get a touchdown. The Cardinals don't answer the Raiders actually extend their lead and it's a 10 point game right when I started talking about close games the Raiders just started pulling away from the Cardinals and they're gonna get another upgrade so the Raiders are going to get the number five player from the Cardinals I think this is a little bit of a fun one I don't know if it's gonna help out the Raiders at all but JJ Watt is the fifth highest overall on the Cardinals so the Raiders are gonna continue to expand their territory in the west all right let's keep this rolling who is up next who wants to play a game it's gonna be the Raiders again now the Raiders would have to go east they can't go west and they're gonna go directly east so we actually have some choices here but i'm just gonna take over utah for the raiders yeah they're just continuing to expand their territory and we get the saints again okay depending on the direction we might get a pretty big matchup here southwest i think we can count the cowboys as southwest right we're going to have Saints versus Cowboys. So pretty close game so far. 17-14. The Cowboys score to take the lead again. Can the Saints answer? They don't. Are the Cowboys going to put away the Saints here? It's another touchdown. We got to see if the Saints score on this draft to see if they have a chance in. Yeah, another pick. Ugh. So the Cowboys get the victory. Let's see who they're going to get. The Cowboys are going to get the number one player on the Saints. We saw the Cowboys get some big interceptions at the end of the game, and they're adding another DB to the team. And just like that, guys, look at all... All that space that the Cowboys just took up. So up next, we are going to get the Chiefs, the Lions, who will be going towards anywhere but the north. They're going southeast-ish. And by looking at the map, they are going to be attacking the Bengals, guys. This might be game, guys. Yep, that's a touchdown. That's probably GG's. The Lions get a touchdown, but it's too little too late. The Bengals win the game, and they're going to get a player from the Lions. So the Bengals are going to end up getting... The number four player from the Lions. So the number four player on the Lions, Panay Sewell. Which is actually going to work out because Lael Collins is injured for the Bengals. We actually have multiple teams that we haven't seen yet in this video. Are we going to get one here? It's going to be the Bears again. Okay. And the Bears will be going towards the east which is great because we could actually sort out this orange blob right here yeah ever since i talked about close games uh we haven't really had close games so yeah the Bengals win by two scores and they take over the entire bears territory and the Bengals will be receiving the bears number one player and what do you know jonathan taylor is the best player on the bears the Bengals just took over that entire midwest area huh still have teams that have yet to participate in this video maybe we'll get it here no it's the cowboys they could face some of that hasn't played yet though they gotta go yeah west or east so they're going west which just means they're taking over the state of new mexico okay let's get someone that hasn't played a game yet as we are gonna land on the falcons there we go the atlanta falcons will be attacking towards 
the Northeast. Hey, nice. This means that we get two teams that haven't played yet. Falcons versus Panthers. I think I actually cursed this video talking about closed games. Like, we really haven't had one where we could jump into. But yeah, let's see who the Panthers are going to get. And they will be getting the number two player from the Falcons. All right, hey, pretty solid upgrade for the Panthers. They're gonna get AJ Terrell. Yeah, so after that, this is what we're looking at here. Broncos, Vikings, Seahawks still have yet to play a game. Maybe that'll change right here as we get, nope, never mind, the Cowboys. <laughs> and the Cowboys will be attacking towards the Northeast. So with how wide the Cowboys are, I don't even know which way I want to go. I think I'm just going to give them Arkansas. Those states got to be filled out anyways, so might as well, right? Like, we'll sort it out later. Panthers up, though. And the Carolina Panthers will be going towards the West. I know who that is. The wheel doesn't lie. The Panthers are playing the Cowboys. What actually happened to the close games? Like, yeah, easy W for the Cowboys. We get our second three-win team, though. I have a feeling the next game is going to be close, but the Cowboys are going to get the second best player from the Panthers. Yo, Brian Burns going to the Cowboys. Oh, man, that pass rush is going to be nasty. Look at all this space the Cowboys have now, though. Wow. We are down to our final eight. Still have, what, three teams that haven't played? We got the Chiefs. It's been a little bit since we've seen the Chiefs, though. If they go south, oh, man. I think that's Cowboys versus Chiefs. Yeah, anything south would have been Cowboys, so this is a huge game, guys. Cowboys need to get something going in the third quarter, and they finally get some points. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So they got a field goal, and I think they scored a touchdown with a two-point conversion. Three-point game. The Chiefs do get three points, though. Touchdown could give the lead to the Cowboys, but nope, they choke. That is not good for the Cowboys. Whoa, that was a big touchdown for the Chiefs. Derrick Henry had an 80-yard rushing touchdown. What? We're just never gonna get a close game again, I guess. Eh, it's a touchdown game still. Hey, it's a touchdown game. The Cowboys, I think, still have a chance. They only have two timeouts. They got to get a stop quick. They might have like eight seconds, maybe. Derrick Henry's trying, though. So the Chiefs are just going to kneel it here, and the Cowboys will have, yeah, not that much time. If you guys watched that playoff video that I've mentioned already in this video, the Cowboys pulled off a miracle in that video. So it might happen again here. We'll see as did someone catch that oh it got picked no miracle for the cowboys this time and yep just like that it goes all to the chiefs all right let's see who the chiefs are gonna take from the cowboys right now the number four player the number four player on the cowboys should be pretty good and it is oh it's actually marshawn Lattimore. nice down to the final seven still three teams almost half the teams haven't played yet and what are the odds? Bengals could potentially play the Vikings if they land that way. Oh, boy. Big territories are just going to keep attacking each other, I guess. Bengals versus the Chiefs. And in the biggest game of the video, you're seeing this screen because it was an absolute Ooh. blowout win for the Chiefs. They almost won by 30, boys. That's crazy. As if the Chiefs needed another upgrade after that blowout win. They are going to get the Bengals second best player. So that means the Chiefs are adding Jesse Bates to the team. Yeah, the Chiefs have absolutely taken over this map. Okay, 50-50 chance to get a team that hasn't appeared in the video. Is it going to happen? Thank you. It's the Vikings. Now, the Vikings do have an empty space next to them. And yeah, I think they're going to take that space. It's close enough where, yeah, we're just going to give the Vikings North Dakota. And now we spin again to see the Vikings. It's going to be the Vikings again. Okay. <laughs> Will the Vikings continue to go west here? They're going south. So they are the next team to challenge the Chiefs for all this area. Yeah, guys, I don't know if there's a team that beats the Chiefs in this video. We'll see, but they're going to get another upgrade now. Kansas City Chiefs will receive the number two player on the Vikings. Woo. That is going to end up being Dalvin Cook, which actually doesn't work out for them because they already have Derrick Henry. And look, I would love to give Justin Jefferson to the Chiefs, but we're going to give him Harrison Smith. To be fair, though, a defense upgrade probably helps him out more anyways. Yeah, the Chiefs just continue to take over everything. At this point, the Chiefs might beat everyone before all the states are claimed. <laughs> it's crazy. We got the Raiders here. Could potentially match up with the Chiefs depending on the direction. I think that's an empty space, actually. Based on the direction, we could either go Idaho or Wyoming. I think I'm just going to take Wyoming. Hey, this means that if the Broncos show up, they got to play somebody. Let's see if the Broncos actually pop up. Oh, just pass it. It's the Raiders again. They could potentially expand their territory here. And oh, yeah, if they want to expand their territory, they got to beat the Seahawks. This could be a big third quarter for the Seahawks. It's that home field advantage. I'm telling you, man. The attacking team's at a disadvantage, it seems like. But we'll see how this goes. This could be a huge drive. Those are big points. Raiders got to answer. And it's looking like, oh, Derek Carr threw an interception. No. I thought Derek Carr was the king of comebacks. What happened, man? 
What happened? And the Raiders go down, and the West Coast belongs to the Seahawks. They really waited the entire video to start attacking, but they own the West Coast now, and they're also going to get the number five player for the Raiders. It's a shame they're not going to get these high 90s, but Darren Waller's a pretty good upgrade. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the Raiders because this belongs to the Seahawks now. So here's our final four, and I think we have an imposter among us. All right, who is going to be attacking out of the final four? The Ravens. So the Ravens can only go one direction, so they're going to face the Chiefs. The Chiefs have been on an absolute tear this entire video. They've already beaten five teams, but this is a really close first quarter. How's quarter number two going to look, though? Is it going to be a little bit more of the same? The Ravens take the lead oh okay the chiefs get some points at the end of the half though third quarter what are the chiefs gonna do they get three points the ravens also get three points and it's a very close game going into the fourth oh boy this is gonna be a big drive for the ravens and they get a touchdown two score lead chiefs need an answer and wow big fumble it looks like mccall hardman fumble for the chiefs oh no yeah things are not looking good for the uh chiefs here that's a big catch for the ravens oh it's looking like ggs guys this might be a GG drive right here. Touchdown might put things away here. This will be a huge, huge win for the Ravens. Are they trying to score? They get the touchdown. And the Kansas City Chiefs go down to the Baltimore Ravens. Let's go. I know I keep mentioning the playoff video, but after the performance of the Ravens had in that video, nice for them to actually start winning some games here and some big games too. They're going to get the fifth best player from the Chiefs. I'm genuinely shocked that the Ravens won that game. The Chiefs team was absolutely stacked. I mean, we're going to see it right here. We're going to add Jesse Bates to the team. Okay. I'm also a little surprised it wasn't that close, but the Ravens are taking over all of this now. I think on the wheel, I actually had the Raiders instead of the Seahawks, but I fixed that now. The Broncos, they're finally up, guys. Is this going to be a miracle run for the Broncos in the top three? No matter which direction, they got to play someone. They're landlocked right now, and they're going to play the Seahawks. Just quickly making sure, but they're going to be going this way. So, yeah, they're playing the Seahawks. Man, I would love to see the Broncos win this. It's been a very close game, as you guys can see by the score. Seahawks got to get a stop, and wow, what a big run for the Broncos. I think it would be so funny for this video if the Broncos win it just because they didn't play. And, dude, they're, they're going to win. They're going to win this game. And yeah, guys, it's going to be Ravens versus Broncos to see who is the real America's team in NFL imperialism. Absolutely wild. Of course, we got to give the Broncos a player from the Seahawks, and they are going to get their first player. So the Seahawks highest overall player is, ooh, Tyler Lockett. And so here we go. The final game of the video, Broncos versus Ravens for the entire country. And real quick, the Ravens got Cam Hayward, Sauce Gardner, and Jesse Bates from the games they played. And the Broncos have only played one game, so yeah, Tyler Lockett's their only addition. Real quick, I'm gonna spin the wheel to see who the home team is gonna be for this game. And it's gonna be... The Broncos. Okay. Hey, this is what I wanted to see, man. Tie game going into the fourth. It's anyone's game. Let's just run it. Let's just go for it. Ravens get a field goal. What do the Broncos do on offense here, though? Are they going to score? It looks like they are. They take the lead. The Ravens got an answer here, and they don't. Interception. Oh, no. So the Ravens just called their first timeout. Minute and a half left, and that's a big stop for them. Absolutely massive third down. Broncos get this. It's the game. Ravens stop this. They got a chance. Russ is rolling around, and he throws it away. Hey, if nothing was open, then that was the right call, but maybe he should have just taken the sack. Ravens get a second chance. Second chance for Lamar for redemption here. He's dumping it off. You only got one timeout, man. You got to get out of bounds. Got to hurry it up. You need a touchdown. Field goal's not going to matter. Ooh, I don't know about that throw across the middle of the field. Mark Andrews was fighting, though. 20-something seconds left. He keeps dumping. What are we doing? What are we? What is going on? What happened to the Ravens that beat the Chiefs super team? What is this? 18 seconds, no more timeouts. Lamar is launching it up to absolutely everybody. Yeah, screw the sideline throws. Let's just throw Hail Marys up. The CPU is crazy. He's just going to launch it up again, right? Maybe? He thought about it for a second. I mean, oh, it's caught, but no timeouts. The Broncos actually just won this whole thing. The Broncos didn't play a game until the final three. Hey, these simulations go crazy, huh? Well, the Broncos win. The Broncos win the entire thing. It's their country. Broncos country. Let's ride. Yeah, looking at this just feels wrong. But hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys did. If you guys got any other ideas, let me know in the comments. YouTube recommends that you watch this video next, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.